I will uh, have some comments on that, so I'll recognize uh, him. I thank my colleague for the time. You know, we're sitting here today with unemployment over 9% and rising, 22 million Americans out of work, and what are we getting? We're getting an administration whose bureaucrats have got a stranglehold on America's energy future. You know, I stood in this chamber just a couple of months ago when the Prime Minister of Australia addressed a joint session of the House. I know my colleagues will remember that. And the Prime Minister said something that was profound. She related a story. She talked about being a young girl sitting in front of her television and watching Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin land on the moon and thinking to herself, wow, those Americans can do anything. She went on to give her speech and she talked about the long relationship between Australia and America and how we have solved many of the world's problems. At the end of her speech, she said, you know something? She said, I'm not that young girl anymore. I'm the prime minister of our country. But today, I still believe that Americans can do anything. You know, that was profound. And I, I think for many of us, it was like you could hear a, a pin drop here in the House chamber. Because what she said was something that we need to hear from our national leaders. And we're not getting that kind of leadership here in America today. I believe that Americans can do anything. We saw when, when President Kennedy decided that we were going to go to the moon in 10 years, he mobilized our academic institution. He engaged our industrial base, our military, our political will, our economic will. Every fabric of our culture was focused on that goal. I remember as a young boy watching the space race shots from school or being sent home because it was like a national holiday. We had a national vision. We saw industries crop up. We saw hundreds of thousands of jobs created. We saw young people going into disciplines that would prepare them for careers in aerospace and astronautics and other disciplines to support our conquest of the space frontier. I am so proud to be a part of this House Energy Action Team because we're trying to promote that same type of national vision around energy, independence, and security. I believe if we had a national vision that said, look, over the next 10 years, we're drawing a line in the sand starting today. And we're going to establish a goal to be energy secure and energy independent over the next 10 years. And we're going to drill for our own oil. We're going to drill for our own natural gas. We're going to continue to mine coal and we're going to learn how to use it environmentally soundly and safely. We're going to expand our nuclear footprint. We're going to look at alternative forms of energy like wind and solar and find out where they fit in to our overall energy profile. But what we're not going to do is sit on the sidelines any longer and depend upon foreign sources for our energy and put future generations at risk. I believe if we had that kind of vision, we would again see industries crop up. We would see hundreds of thousands of jobs created as a result. And at the end of the day, we would learn how to produce and store and use energy in ways that we have never, ever imagined. Because guess what? Americans can do anything. With a national vision around energy independence and security, Americans would be put back to work. I live in a district and represent a district 
unemployment rates are popping up well over 10 percent, some of them 12 plus percent. Ladies and gentlemen, people from my district have lost hope in the American dream. We need a national vision around energy. That's what this House is promoting. That's what my colleagues and I are striving for. I, too, urge the Senate, take action on these bills. Get America back to work, and let's secure America's energy future. Thank you for letting me have some time. I yield back. I, I, I do believe in Americans' greatness.